What's going on everybody? Tomorrow's the 1st of May. The garden's looking pretty good. And I want to show you what's up with it, good and bad. So let's take a look. I'll give you an overview before we get into the details, but garlic bed, uh, mustard bed, mizuna, carrots, peas, interplanted with garlic. Can't see much of the garlic now, but I'll get into that later. And the new bed that I put in radishes. So if you've been watching along, you know the garlic bed was interplanted with Austrian winter peas. And I did a chop and drop the other day and the peas had pretty much overtaken the bed. So I let it go too far. But you can see I have some garlic standing back up and looking good. But I do want to show you the chop and drop. So it's wilted down, turned brown and everything. And underneath, it's looking real good, moist, and just super soft. Stuff seems to be breaking down pretty nicely. And so I'm really liking that. So let me talk about all three of these beds at once. So if you remember these, these are the ones when I redesigned the garden that I redid all of these beds and applied a lot of mulch. I mean, not mulch, but new compost. Well, the compost that I'm getting is not that great and it's not really that well worked over. And so I'm having issues when I first put it down and plant into it. So originally I had purple mustard, arugula, and carrots. And these two beds with the purple mustard and the arugula, I had great germination, but right afterwards the plant started showing signs of burn and different things, and some of them even died. So I'm not sure what all is going on with the compost. I think there's more to it than it's not broke down all the way, although that's a big problem too. But anyway... I didn't want that so I just tilfered these two beds under and I would have done the carrots and I thought about it but I didn't want to because I had the best germination with the carrots that I've ever had thanks to a lot of rain and at the time the rain if I had tilfered this under the rain that was coming wasn't dependable and I was afraid I wouldn't get this germination again. So anyway these two beds were tilfered under and replaced and I added fertilizer when I did it and it seemed to help a lot. Got some great germination, which is awesome, but I've had some problems with each. So I wanna start with this one because this is something I should have seen because I've did the same thing before. So I made a mistake and I'll show you right quick. So this is what happened with this bed. Like I said, I had purple mustards planted and I tilfered them under and replanted arugula. But you can see most of it is purple mustard. And the reason is, and I've done this before, is I didn't tilfer it under real good. I only did it one time. I didn't get a good kill on it. So it came back and has basically outcompeted the arugula. The arugula did germinate, but the mustard, I guess, already had roots and it's outcompeting it. So now they're mixed and it's way too thick. It'll do for personal use, but in a production scenario, this would be a little bit of a mess up. The Mizuna, I'm pretty pleased with, but I still haven't achieved what I want with the baby green beds. And that is, I got really good germination, which I do want, but I want nice and even growth. And so when I got to germination, everything looked pretty equal for a few days, but then pretty quickly some of this started growing and thriving and these parts never have caught quite up so I'm just going to go down through here and you can see it's just not even and this is something that I want to get a lot better at basically what I want it to look like here every time is just a perfect green carpet so let's talk about the carrots now I said I didn't till them under because I did have great germination uh, and things are looking okay it, they were stunted for a while they've came back out of it and this bed is the same one half of it's thriving the other half is way behind uh, I'm coming back in this bed with tomatoes so I'm on just let things take course and I can harvest them 
I don't have to harvest them all at one time. I can harvest them in phases. And I'm just going to put tomato plants down the center when I get those plants. And they'll be late, uh, but that's what I was shooting for. But this is... Maybe a lot of you have grown a lot better carrots than this, and I'm sure you have. But for me, this is a first that I'm even getting them to uh, germinate and grow halfway decent. And I said, they were stunted for a while, but it started warming up. We've had some good rains, good timing on the rains, and got some pretty decent looking plants. So hopefully we get a nice carrot harvest off of that. And if we do, that'll be a huge milestone for me. So let's talk about this bed. First, in November, I planted garlic all the way down the center of the bed. February, I come in with some sugar snap peas. And the idea was that they wouldn't be planted so thick that they would crowd out the garlic in the center of the row. And it worked for a long time, but now you can see I haven't smothered them out completely like I did in the far bed with the Austrian winter peas but they're still really shaded and I probably won't do this again unless I can figure out something better but I'll still get a garlic harvest I'm pretty sure and this is the first time that I've ever raised snow peas and they took a long time like I said I planted them in February it took them a long time to germinate and they sort of sit there but now that we're getting in the 70s and 80s they have really come alive and they've started blooming and I have some peas. Uh, it's pretty slow at start. Here's one. It's nice. Let's pick it and, and see what it's like. All right, here you go. It's the first time I ever raised snow peas. I've harvested a few, but this is the first one that I've picked. It's pretty much full size. Really sweet, really good. I'm hoping I get a bumper crop of these. I don't know if this is something I'll use to sell when I do start selling for profit, but for personal use, I would really like to have a lot of these. Okay, last but not least is the new bed that I put in in the alleyway. Uh, it's looking pretty good. It was stunted at first, a lot of these leaves when they first came up were really burnt looking just like the others but I said before is I planted these just to cover the bed and sort of activate it and get it going get some photosynthesis in it so really I didn't care if the radishes had made anything worth eating or not they were here just to cover the bed more so as a cover crop but they pulled out of the kink pretty much and starting to get some nice little cherry bell radishes uh, a lot better than I did last year when it was 90 something degrees but as far as radishes go really tender they're not too hot and that's really good for a radish it's even got a little bit of a sweetness to it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick some radishes mizuna and the red mustard and arugula that's mixed in there with it and i've got some friends at work that i'm gonna make some salads for excuse me while i'm eating <laughs> so let's do that and we'll wrap this up it is pretty amazing at how fast these things grow and catch up and start bobbing up once they get going good greatest amount of success with the least amount of work i just spray this stuff together and yeah these guys come off really good but you know radishes usually are one of my easier crops
So when you mix these salads up, it's good to know what the different parts are. This is a Mizuna. It's really mild tasting. So I consider this the filler. But the red mustard here, this is where you get the kick. Really hot, spicy, think of like a horseradish taste, but not so much that it's offensive. When you mix them together, it balances out pretty good. And it's not a boring salad, but it's not an overpowering salad. So I think it's a really good mix, pretty easy to grow. Not to mention that you get some contrast in there. That's a little big, but the purple and the green with the red radishes should make a pretty good looking finished product and we have the ingredients for several beautiful salads ain't that right lucas yeah well y'all that's what's going on for the spring said tomorrow is may the first and it's going to start warming up pretty quick we got about another week of really nice weather which i need for these peas to finish off and I've got some stuff going on behind the scenes and probably by the next time I show this garden in full There'll be a lot of summer crops going in which I'm really excited about some of them will uh, Go in after complete bed flip and others will go right in on top of existing crops that I'm waiting to finish So that'll be pretty exciting something to look forward to uh, But for now, I think I'm gonna let y'all go. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be good. Bye